Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Alas, a curfew is now upon us. Our capital is breached, and we will not be gathering this night as a parish community to worship and celebrate the Feast of the Epiphany. Our world seems to be taking lots of twists and turns these days that are not for the better. And yet, the Christ child still came. The wise men still found that babe lying in a manger and Christ's promise and presence and manifestation was revealed and given to all of us who choose to take it for our own. That is what we celebrate this day. The revelation of Jesus Christ to the Magi, yes, but to us, each and one of us as individuals and collectively also. Today is a hard time if you are watching C-SPAN or CNBC or CNN or WTOP or any of the news channels right now. It is hard to locate that star in this very moment. And yet that is what we are called to do. To look for and find the hope and to be the light for all people, Jews, Gentiles, Republicans, Democrats, black, white, brown, gay, straight, straight, everyone. It seems these days that that's harder than usual. But let us remember that this story, the one we've been celebrating for 12 days and now again on the feast of the Epiphany started as our gospel for today tells us in the time of King Herod. It didn't get much worse than Herod and all of the tricks that he pulled to hold on to power and to pit people against one another. This is not new. What our leaders are doing is not new, but how we react how we respond is up to us. And the message of Epiphany, though we cannot share it together this night out of safety for all, let us take a moment and refix and recenter our hearts on the great story of Epiphany. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, where is the child who, was, who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem saying, go and search diligently for the child and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. 
When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts, gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. The Gospel of the Lord. Friends, those who seek the star and the light of God will find it. And for us, there is always, always another road home. Let us seek for the child. Let us find our God, offer our gifts of thanks this day for being the recipients of his love and grace and light and hope, and then chart a new path, a new path for us, a new path for this country, a new path for this world. It is our charge and it should be our joy, even in the midst of the chaos and the ugliness, especially in the midst of the chaos and the ugliness of this world and in ourselves. I share with you one more thing this night. It's a poem by Christina Rossetti for Epiphany Tide. She wrote, trembling before thee, we fall down to adore thee. Shamefaced and trembling, we lift our eyes to thee. O first and with the last, annul our ruined past. Rebuild us to thy glory, set us free from sin and from sorrow to fall down and worship thee. Full of pity, view us, stretch thy scepter to us. Bid us live, that we may give ourselves to thee. O faithful Lord and true, stand up for us and do. Make us lovely, make us new. Set us free, heart and soul and spirit, to bring all and worship thee. Would you pray with me? Gracious, loving God, we offer our prayers for this nation, for the people of this country. In particular, we pray for our leaders elected to lead in justice and in peace. May all of us know that power rests solely in your hands, but compassion is ours to give and to show. Be with this nation as we continue to do the hard work of mending fences, healing wounds, and binding ourselves to one another instead of our fractionalized lives. Cleanse us from the sin of hubris in thinking that our way is the only way, our experience the only experience, our ideas and leaders the only ones. Help us to see the Christ in each and every one of your created beings. Help us to show mercy. Help us to fight for justice, work for mercy, and walk in love. All these things we ask in the name of your Son who was born to us who drew the Magi from afar, who hearkened and lassoed that star. 
so that we too may be the light to all the world. Amen. Every blessing upon you and yours, friends, this feast of the Epiphany and always. Mm -hmm.